Okay, ladies and gents, you may be familiar with glitch artwork. So you take a picture like this and you do some data manipulation and it comes out like that. So yeah, before or after. But I'm going to make a tutorial. This is a tutorial teaching you about how to do the same type of thing with audio. So say you've got a song like Pocket Bells Canon in D in MP3 format. That's nice. But maybe you want to spice it up. Make it sound like it's having intercourse with an old Atari. Yeah. That is nice. Okay. Yeah. So what you'll need is... I'm going to use Photoshop to do this. Alright, yeah. So, we're going to use Photoshop. Um, music Player is Winamp. I'm sure you can use it, play it in iTunes because you're just playing MP3. So, you got your basic MP3. And you go here and you go copy. And you paste. Just make a copy of it. Boom. So, you want to definitely make a copy of the file because you're going to corrupt it and I mean you probably want the original to stay uncorrupt so yeah copied it got your copy you're gonna name it pre glitch dot mp3 and if you can't see this dot mp3 that means that you do not have file extensions shown in Windows so if it's just Pocketbell's Canon or if whatever your song name, if it doesn't say .mp3, you want to go to Control Panel, go to Appearance and Personalization, Folder Options, go up to this little tab up here, go to the second tab of View, and then you want, you might have it checked, you want to uncheck it. So make sure that's unchecked. Hit Apply, hit OK, X out of that, and now you can see dot mp3 and so you want to take this mp3 dot mp3 and change it to dot raw and say yeah it might become unusable are you sure you want to change it yeah it's not going to be unus unusable but it's going to be kind of messed up after we're done with it so then you uh, open up your photo editing software I'm going to use photoshop it doesn't work with paint I tried I'm sorry people who love ms paint and you go to open and you want to open that file that you just turned into a raw so here's the pre glitch dot raw that you just made open that up and here you're gonna have like it's not gonna say anything it's gonna be like it must be between yeah so for this pixel height and width you want to make it as large as possible without going over so by going over, I mean, you'll get an error and it'll say specified image is larger than file. So you're like, okay, well, that didn't work. And so you want to be right on the threshold. So you want to just, this is uh, 10,000. So maybe go to 1,000 and see, okay, this is, this is good, but you want to be right on this threshold. So maybe try 5,000 see if it's, uh, it's too large now so then you go to 4,000 still too large okay 3,000 okay uh, it's good but we want to get even closer so we'll go here 3,500 all right that's good make it a little bigger still good 3,900 see if we can go that big oh no okay so that must be 3,800. I'm going to go 50 and 50. You want to be a square, so you want the width and height to be the same. So it's smaller, so that's good. 5 is good. Maybe we can go up to 8. It might be too big, though. Yeah, it's too big. Um, stick with 5. Cause I think, let's see, no, 6, 60. No, 60. Okay, so it's 5 something. 5, yep, 5. Six. Nope. Too small. Five, six, eight. 
Oh, that's too big, so it must be 5.7. Perfect. So that's the exact pixel for this file. You'll have to monkey around and find yours. Unfortunately, this is the only way that I know how to do this. So that's my exact pixel ratio. That will be good for me. And then voila! That is a visual representation of the mp3 file. Look at all that data. Mmm, that is good. Yeah, so now, you can go over here. This is where we'll be glitching it. Come over here. Take your paintbrush. Get a little paintbrush. And you don't want to over glitch it, otherwise it might not load or it'll only sound like crackling. So you still want to have like some some little glitch like you right over here, a little sample. Hold Alt and you can click and it'll sample a color. So you can kind of like make some little squiggles over here. Yeah, do some of that. But you don't want to glitch it too much. Otherwise, yeah, it's not going to work. Or you won't hear any of the original track that you had. You can either, either, you can even take cool little paintbrush. Do some of this. Get like the whole song. So like down here. Down here is like the uh, the end of the song. You kind of think of it like it it kind of goes like you're reading a book. So it goes across so like the beginning of the song. So if you glitch stuff, if you like mess up here, that'll be the beginning of the song. If you mess down here, it'll be the end of the song. And you don't want to mess with like the very ends because those are like the headers of the file, I think. So yeah, don't mess with that. Just just give it a good give it a good once over with some cool little thing is like that. That's probably a lot, but uh, I'll undo a little bit. There you go. Okay, that's probably good. And then you go to Save As, and you want to save it back as a raw file. And now it's glitched, so you want to say Post Glitch. Save that to wherever you feel like. Save, and it's going to be like, oh, blah. Errors. Okay, that's okay. We know we've messed up. We know we know we glitched it up. So get out of here. And here it is, the post glitch dot raw. You want to change it back into MP3 or your original file type. And then yeah, might become unstable. Are you sure you want to change it? Yeah, of course. That sounds great. I love unstable unstable files. And then you just play it. I didn't glitch at the beginning too much. There you have it. It's a nice glitchy remix of your favorite song done in Photoshop. Yeah. It's brilliant. And make sure your speakers aren't too loud when you listen to it. You might blow them out because it's glitchy. So yeah. Yeah, see, it's really glitchy right there. Here's the end of the file. Yeah. As you can see here, this is the original MP3 that we just started with before we glitched it up in Photoshop. And this is what the audio looks like. And this is what the data looks like in Photoshop. There's a difference right there. That's what you got to understand. And so then he went into Photoshop and did, like, just put random stuff on the data. I mean, you could have drawn, like, a picture of a clown on the beach. I don't care. Like, you're going to mess it up. Clowns on beaches mess up the data. And so it even changed the duration of the file because when you listen here, all this, uh, it's glitched and the tempo picks up. So it gets, it's sped up even. So it lasts like three minutes because it got glitched and sped up. And so that's the audio waveform of the glitched file, which is this. This is the picture of the data. And this is the 